Hello guys, thank you for being with us. We are today with a really special guest. He is Velimir and he is the founder and managing partner of Amixi. Uh, Velimir, tell us about yourself and about your company, please. Danny, thank you and EAK Digital, thank you for hosting us. It's really beautiful to be here at Istanbul Blockchain Week. Um, Basically, Amex is Swiss. It's a Swiss-based uh, company. We build and develop the uh, fintech solutions and intersection at uh, blockchain, fintech, uh, uh, finance, banking, IoT, and AI, with core understanding how we can evolve and uh, actually scale these profound technologies. Awesome. Which kind of products do you currently have? So basically, Amexi has developed uh, Amexi Point. It's actually a financial terminal, and we refer to it as uh, Amexi Point. And we build it as well, Amexi App. The our financial terminal, Amexi Point, is basically working only through our app, which makes us compliant with regulatory needs. Awesome. And where are you based? Uh, which is your main uh, market? And how are you planning to expand into other markets? So basically, we are uh, based in Zurich. At uh, let's say uh, hub of the financial world, and we have our own uh, R&D, and currently we are entering uh, uh, first market, which is Turkey, which is super exciting. Awesome. What do you think are the main challenges that you have as a company and also Web3 as a, as an industry? What are the main challenges and problems that we have right now? Basically, um, we have built everything with understanding what Mika, which is markets in crypto assets, uh, the newest European law, uh, together with like a presidential order from the United States, which is fifth crypto assets groups. So basically, we took that in uh, beforehand, built it entire to be compl compliant. We met with our regulatory body some time. We got their approvals, and we actually implemented uh, KYC providers. There is that ticked all the boxes for the future. Leadership. How to rebuild uh, the trust on customers that, for instance, we have we are going through a diff, through a difficult time right now. How to rebuild trust on customers and like how to bring more customers to this ecosystem? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Currently, we are. Uh, what most of the crypto users refer as the crypto winter uh, and we are on the brink of the recession. The reason for that is that most of the projects that they promise they don't deliver and we are tending to deliver and we are that's why we are here we actually showcase our product. How we're going to actually approach that and how we're going to actually create mass adoption is actually we entire our infrastructure is built as non-custodian so we don't custody anyone's assets. You come you can choose any wallet you can choose any 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 coin, any token, and you can cash in, cash out, or exchange as uh, as users want. Basically, we build our entire infrastructure with core understanding that the user experience should be easy to use, should be convenient, should be uh, there should be a, a speed or there should be fast, and then cost efficient within the secure ecosystem, basically providing uh, freedom to users so they can manage and utilize their assets and money on their own terms. So this, if you ask me, I would say that like this is the way we actually tangle this question because we don't actually limit the customer. We provide the only play where it comes from our side. We have a regulatory that puts certain limitation and we have to play along. And that's what we're going to stick. And I believe that crypto needs to awaken, entire industry needs to awaken and understand that without regulatory framework, we'll be facing more FTX. That's true. And how do you envision the future for the crypto industry, for the Web3 industry? Um, today I was on a panel and I was already talking about it. I believe that like uh, innovation S curve is something where we start with experimenting, we launching innovation, something, then we have something that is mature product. And then when this mature pro product starts to, to get let's say, to the top and start getting adopted, this is something that will create mass adoption to it. But as you know, uh, we are as well on the brink of the fifth uh, uh, industrial revolution, which will be led by AI. And I believe that quantum computing and AI will contribute, that this will be more adapted, more implemented across both uh, institutional and retail uh, markets. How do you think AI is going to be implemented in your company? So basically, um, our core uh, vision for the far future is to build um, 
AI uh, financial institution. That's that's basically something that we refer one-stop shop for the banking, where user can come and choose whether they like uh, Revolut, they like Enswish, they like Dennis Bank, they like Binance, whatever they prefer, they will be able to do. The, whether is that a traditional finance or crypto finances. And the idea is that you have like this fiat plus crypto in one solution. Basically, our idea when it comes to that is actually to implement different kind of AI tools and protocols that will enable to uh, provide different kind of services with reimagined engagement. What does that mean in the future? How the banking will look like? Let me just say something that we refer as a cognitive and intuitive banking is you will come to the fridge, you'll open fridge, then you'll run out of a drink, you'll talk to the device, you'll order and pay by your voice. So the fifth uh, industrial revolution, it's all about this evolution and relationship between human and machine. We are already highly dependent of it. And AI, and nowadays we have already a testing phase of semi-conscious AI. With that, I think that like people will get more and more freedom. Decentralization and uh, crypto industry have to understand it's not about not having any legal framework. It's actually implementing uh, uh, legal frameworks in the new technology and at the same time owning and custody your own assets and manage and utilize them as users want. Awesome, thank you. Velimir, where can we find more information about yourself and about your company? So you can, uh, you can reach us, uh, you can look at our website amexi.com or uh, you can uh, reach us through our Telegram group. Awesome, thank you very much for your time and thank you guys for being with us and see you in the next chapter. Thank you.